All right, so I wanted my hair to look more like Khaleesi's kaleidoscope. So we decided to add pink tips to this marvelous hair. So I'm using hot pink from Adore. I used like a half of a bottle and we just did the, um, the watercolor method, which is very simple. And as you can see, I was trying to get it as close to what hers looked like as possible. And I think it came out really, really good. The more you do this, the darker your color is gonna get. The less you do it, um, then it won't be as opaque. Like here, it just, you could tell obviously there's a difference, but when it's wet, your hair is gonna look darker. You see, now you can tell there's a big difference in the amount of color. And it, I thought it was gonna be a little bit different. It looks more red than it is in, you know, real life, but it's actually pretty pink. Um, so I used these. Now the other ones that I used when I did it before, they were bigger rollers. I used these, which were smaller. I just brought like the whole, I had to go to two different styles to get them. So I used a lot of body setting lotion, which you can use a little bit or a lot of, depending on how you feeling. If you use a lot of it, your hair is gonna be really tight. If you use a little, then your hair is gonna be um, really loose, but it'll still kind of hold. It's gonna be a little bit bigger and softer because this is a wig and I don't want to have to redo this each and every time we decided to use a lot a lot of body I didn't show the mix between the um the actual water and a lot of body was not necessary so we just rolled these up and I did like a brick formation in them so in other words wherever you see hair just put a roller because her hair is kind of just all over the place I didn't necessarily want it to make it very structured because this does dry almost rock hard so when you try to get that out it just it, those gaps are really hard to get rid of so I just um, put a little bit of lot of body with water. I just did a half and half mix. And then I used it at the very end as while I'm using a free spray. I use that to spray it all over to make sure that my hair would stay. And actually it was like too tight, but I'd rather have too tight than too loose. Cause once you wear it and then it's over, you're gonna be like, I have to go recurl all this hair. And this took me like two hours to do. So, it depends on how the, the smaller, obviously, if you don't know, the smaller the roller, the tighter the, the curl, the bigger the roller, the looser the curl, but also with the setting that you use. I know some people will use like more water than a lot of body. Some people use more, a lot of body. It just depends on what you want it for. If this is gonna be your everyday wig, you might wanna use a little bit more so you won't have to keep redoing this process because after a while, the color is gonna start to fade because you're putting water and water obviously will wash the color out. This is a cellophane, this is not, um, you know, it's not a permanent color. So the more and more water you put on this, the more and more it will start to fade after a while. So, I just simply used my lot of body and combing those curls out. Did I, I lost a, just a little bit of hair. It wasn't nothing major, but I was going through those ends because I didn't wash this hair prior to this. I decided to just go in. My lace still had got to be glued on it. The spray still on it. I was like, I'm just going to do all that after the fact. So this was kind of like fresh off my head. Let's redo it. Um, so you can use as many or as little rollers as you like. I like mine to be extremely tight because again, this is going to cover my face and my forehead and all those good things so yeah I use sometimes I'll use in papers just really depending but when I was in school I hated them and it was always so cold for sanitary reasons in school so I didn't I've learned to get around those so this is what it looks like once you end up taking everything out and it looks like you have Shirley Temple curls which are not the most attractive in this state. But at this particular point, you would put like a little bit of a sheen on it, like oil sheen or something. And as you can see, they came out really pretty. And this was me. I set it under my bonnet dryer for like, I want to say like a couple of hours. And you run your fingers through it and those curls will then start to form themselves 
when you're done. And it's a very simple thing to do, but your hair will last a long time, especially depending on how much Lotta Body and Free Spray you use. But I did this for the other one as well. And this is what it ended up turning out like. Um, I have a closet talk with this actually on, but this was like a quick tutorial to kind of show you how you can update an old look for a new. And I feel like it looks very similar to hers. The more I let it sit, the more my hair fell. Because as you see, it's super tight from all that Lotta Body. So the more you let it sit, the bigger and lower it will get. All right, so we added some color to the bazam because I felt it was necessary after I seen Khaleesi's hair, I felt it was necessary to go back and give like my Rick James big mop do moment. Okay, girl, this is my uh, Beyonce work it out wig. That's what this is. Okay. Jam on your horn now. <laughs> hey. But yeah, um... I wanted to keep this more of the original color and to give the outsides more of the new color. Just so it came like, it's, it's I call it Hot Cheeto. Hot Cheeto Cheeto. Now, you can make her like this or you can do like this. <laughs> I need to put a comb in this because I didn't tack her down because I just didn't feel it was necessary. Again, I used the tape, tape and do nothing. Um, but yeah, she's cute. So what I did, what I ended up doing with this, because at first when I did it, I did it with smaller rollers, as you probably guys are seeing right now. I did the bottom portion with smaller roller, rollers, rollers, and then I did this particular part with the same rollers I did them with before. They were too tight at first. When I first took them out, it was just super ridiculously tight right here, where it looks, it's already gonna look like a mop. I don't wanna look like a wet mop, you know, type of thing. So this is for the girls and the guys who like just big ridiculous hair. This would be that. I did cut the front um, because the front here, you gotta make sure that you can see. And when I first put it on, you probably realize that it is much, uh, longer than the rest of the hair. Just know, once you cut it, it's cut. So, I've done this look plenty of many a times, but i just never done it in a color like this. And the lower you have it, the better it looks, because it just looks like a mop. I know, uh, Brave... That was in Rich Girl. She wears her hair, her natural hair with, I'm sure she got some help up in there. Like this often, a lot of natural girls wear their hair like this, it just depends. I was looking for my biggest hoops, couldn't find them, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, the hair held up. As you can see, it still curls, and you can see it's still very, very, very ridiculously full. And I'm in love. I have no complaints about this uh, whatsoever. Everybody keeps asking me about this, and I'm, I'm, I'm loving her. I think what I want to do uh, with this is I just want to do like some very uh, rock star one on one. Hell, maybe even work it out for this. I don't know. But I, these are the type of wigs that I store in bags. Like this one, I'll put it in like a big Ziploc bag. And then make sure that um, it's set aside. Because you don't want this to get tangled. Because the the way that all of these curls are still left in here like this, you want it to keep it like this. So if you put it in a bag, you can even put this in a vacuum seal bag. Like I have those um, bags where you take the uh, vacuum cleaner and you just suck all the air out, they're good for this. Cause this wig will go ahead and just end up being like that. And then once you take it out, just shake her out, put her on and you're good. So yes, I know Khalees is in the news uh, about the whole Neptune stealing from this particular era or whatever. Um, so yeah, you layer, e -layer, what I don't, I love you guys, okay? You guys are amazing. Right, so we went from that. Shit. So we went from this. So we went from that to this. So it's really just depending on what you want. You can do both. You're just gonna have to curl this top part. If you do it the other way, I had it prior, my Chucky Finster. You're just gonna have to um shit. 
Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for my Valentine's look from the same company. I'm trying to go back to my pink roots. And I will catch you guys in my next one.